Hey guys, it's me, JSH DIY, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to another Water Slime Wednesday. In this video, we are going to be testing out the new Water Slime recipes of the week to see which of these recipes work make it slime out of water. So for all that and more, just keep on watching. These notification squad shoutouts go to Little Water 27, JWE Plays, and also Graphics by If you guys are wanting to win a giveaway, really quickly check and make sure you are subscribed. YouTube puts a little red circle subscribe thingy by your comment, and that is how I find giveaway winners. So please make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you're all good. The slime recipe we're going to be testing out today is water hair bath gel. bomb slime so apparently if you take a bath bomb and put it in hair gel oh, with some hair water gel makes slime oftentimes with baking soda and apparently if you take baking soda water and a bath bomb it makes slime so we're gonna see if this works right now you did not know, bath bombs contain a lot of different ingredients that we have used before to activate shampoo and other slimes, from cream of tartar to alum and salt, definitely, and even baking soda. So it depends on what is in your bath bomb and the proportions, but apparently if you take hair gel and water and add the bath bomb in, it is going to make slime. And this is according to one of you guys. So starting off, I just added in some clear hair gel and then I took my bath bomb and I also just popped it on top of the hair gel and then i poured on water which first of course started to dissolve the bath bomb and i just let it sit for a little bit because i wanted to see what it would look like bath bomb itself was taking a little bit of time to dissolve so i decided to break it into some smaller pieces just so that it could dissolve quicker The whole time I was making this, I was holding out hope that the very bottom of the bowl where the hair gel was, was going to be thicker. But once I mixed everything together, this did not work. And sadly, this recipe was a fail for me, but I totally could have done something wrong. So please let me know what you guys think I did wrong if I messed this up. The next slime recipe we're going to be testing, of course, is also a water slime recipe, and this one has become very popular, and I have gotten so many comments about this recipe, so we're going to be testing this one out right now. So, this recipe says that if you take this specific soap and water, it makes the best water slime ever. Now, I have made a lot of shampoo water slimes in my day, so we're going to see if this one works very well. Apparently, this shampoo just turns into the thickest slime ever when adding in a little bit of salt and water, so we're going to see if this shampoo is up to the hype. Apparently, this shampoo is super, super concentrated, and there's just something about the formula that makes the thickest, most slime-like slime ever. So all we're supposed to do is add in a little bit of water and then add in some salt, apparently, and we're just supposed to let that get all mixed together, and then we're just supposed to let this sit for one week to congeal and let extra water evaporate out, and we are supposed to well, get I waited a, a whole week for the good, water almost to evaporate out of my slime, slime because of how let it dry out and is sure enough you guys this turned out so well it had the gummiest thickest texture and this was a lot thicker than normal shampoo slimes even that i normally am obsessed with so this was so so cool and i'm obsessed with this gel shampoo and the formula was incredible The next slime recipe we're going to be testing is a little bit crazy because we are going to be taking 50 bath bombs to try to make a giant bath bomb clear shampoo water slime recipe. So this water slime shampoo recipe has been recommended quite a lot recently and so I'm going to be testing this one out today. This recipe has gone very viral on Troom Troom and a lot of you guys have commented about this and told me that you guys thought I would think it would work and that you guys thought it would work as well because of the formulation of it. So basically what we were supposed to do is take half shampoo, half water. I used pink Pantene shampoo because I already know that I've had good luck, of course, with Pantene mixed with an activate mixture of baking soda and salt. So I added in a first layer of bath bombs on top of the half and half shampoo water mixture and I let this sit. I did this all out in the sun and I noticed that the bubbles just expanded a ton more because of being in the sun. And when I first let those sit and started mixing the shampoo from the bottom of the container up, I already noticed that it was activating. You guys can see on my hands here i had some of the shampoo on my hands and once i mixed it around it was becoming slime but it was a little bit thin so i decided to add in more bath bombs at this time even the first layer of bath bombs were barely dissolved and it was kind of not the smartest thing for me to do to add in tons of more bath bombs 
I found out later, but I started to mix the bath bombs in. At first, I was a little bit worried because it seemed kind of thin, but I kept kind of mixing them. And then when I would mix it around in my hands of the excess shampoo that was left, I was noticing it was super slime-like. So I decided to let this sit so that the bath bombs could dissolve. And this oh, is what happened. What the because of how many bath bombs I added into the Pantene shampoo, it exploded. Also, because of the heat and the sun, the bubbles were just going so oh extreme gosh, in the really slime, good. and the slime was just overflowing out of the tub. I decided to get another container, and I started pouring in some little handfuls of the slime, hoping this would help. But at this point, I kind of did not have many options of what I it could do. It felt very foamy, but when I would kind of mix my hands around with it on it, it felt like slime, but it was was just so foamy and it was huge to the point where I couldn't even really handle it. So I let this sit overnight and this is what I came back to. Because of all of the colors in the bath bombs, the slime ended up being black and because I let it sit overnight, it kind of collapsed because all of the bubbles left, but I was just left with this kind of baking soda e overactivated mess because sadly I ruined the slime. In my last video, I got a comment from a user named JimMX who is a wonderful subscriber and they said if you take scrubbing bubbles and add shampoo, it of course makes a slime. So we're going to be testing this out right now to see if this recipe works. Starting off, I took my scrubbing bubbles, and apparently it's like a toilet cleaner. I personally had to go to Target to get this, but some of you guys might have this at home. Jim X said that when you take the scrubbing bubbles and add shampoo, it makes slime. So we're going to be testing this out. I first just kind of squeezed the thing down, and I put it in the bowl. And she said just to put them all around your bowl and kind of just use all of them, which... And then she said just to add in your shampoo and mix it together until you have a slime. This recipe did not have any proportions. She said that she was just doing a little mix and messing around. And when she added these two ingredients together, it made it slime. I instantly noticed when I started to mix it that the scrubbing bubbles were already turning hard and that the shampoo was starting to activate because the scrubbing bubbles were basically like a little ball of clear slime. I just did not want to touch them because I knew that they were chemically. But I let this set and some reason after letting it set, it some reason melted. But the scrubbing bubble piece looked like solid slime. I just did not want to touch it because I know that they are toxic. For this next recipe, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a DIY shampoo clear slime without any glue at home. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this ombre clear slime that you guys can make at home without anything you might not have. So starting off, you're going to be needing an airtight container and you want to sprinkle on a little bit of table salt. Now, table salt is what you really need for this and you only want a little bit of table salt. Then you are going to need two different shampoos. You can use whatever shampoos you have. I'm using two different colored clear shampoos because I personally love clear clear slime the most, but you guys can test this, of course, with a white-based shampoo as well, and you want to pour in one at a time until each has their own side and each color is separated. Now, snap the lid on your airtight container and let this set. The key to this recipe is for one, you don't mix it. For two, you need a super, super airtight container. And for three, you need a super thin layer of shampoo because that way the shampoo will dry up and you will get slime just from it drying out. So after it has dried out and you can see no specks of salt at the bottom, you know that the salt has all absorbed into your shampoo and you should have a perfect, amazing slime just like this. Texture of your slime will vary depending on your shampoo, but this this is what I got with the two shampoos I used. I noticed that the purple side was thicker where I used the OGX brand shampoo, but I love how this turned out and I love the ombre blue to purple effect. One of you guys tagged me on TikTok in a video that was showing if you take teeth whitening gel and put it in water, it kind of looks like it's a putty. The video was from some sort of a dentist or something and they were showing this random video. So we are going to be seeing if this works right now. I got this teeth whitening kit and we are going to be using the blue syringe, which apparently hardened contact with cold water. So basically I just squeezed out the syringe of the blue teeth stuff and I added in some cold water.
really only need a little bit of cold water because it's more of a temperature thing than anything else but you're just supposed to add in the cold water and once the teeth whitening gel is in contact with the cold water it should harden and kind of become like a harder version of it This was so cool. It felt like a little orb and it had kind of this like skin around it, which was very unique. And sure enough, this felt so much like slime. So thank you guys so much for sending me the TikTok about this. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you guys all so much. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure that you are subscribed because I would love to hang out with you guys again. And if you guys want to learn a little bit more about me, you guys can go over to my Instagram, which is at JSHDIY and follow me over there for behind the scenes and updates on everything I'm doing. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys over on one of the videos on the screen. Bye guys. I think I lost myself.